Ventilation is the flow of air in and out of the alveoli. So if a patient were to have a condition such as asthma, that would result in bronchoconstriction, which in turn impairs that ventilation. Then we have diffusion, which is the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the alveoli and the red blood cells in the bloodstream. So if the patient were to have a condition such as pulmonary fibrosis, which causes scarring and thickening of the lung tissue, that would make diffusion less effective. And then finally, we have perfusion, which is the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between those red blood cells and the body's tissues. So if the patient had a condition such as peripheral arterial disease, which results in impaired blood flow to those extremities, that in turn would affect perfusion to those cells in the lower extremities.